What's going on, YouTube? It's Kuma1921 here with... Uh, well, you know who I am. <laughs> no, I don't. Alistair, Alistair Alden. What's up? Here with another Pro Status interview. I haven't done one of these in a couple of months. I think the last one was with Frazier. So, uh, really? Yeah. I only got like three. I got one with... Friends. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's over there, actually. Yeah. Frazier! Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> All right. Well, first question: How did you get into Yu-Gi-Oh? How did I get into? Uh, that's a good question. I like that question because I always get to explain. It. Uh, oh boy! Like I have a, a unique story. Great. Not that unique. Okay. So I started playing when the game first came out. Well, like I'm I'm 21 now. I look a lot older, but I'm I'm not very old. So old I started playing when I was like like 10 or when everybody else was like 2002 or 2003. Six. I went to like a Spencer Gifts in downtown Inner Harbor, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm from, and um, they had like the 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 the, 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 where the, the Yugi and the Kaiba starter decks or whatever. So I bought one of those, and like everybody in my neighborhood had one. We always just like play. Just I'm pretty sure everybody has like a similar story where like you just summon blue eyes, and like that was that. And like we wanted to make a deck of like half blue eyes and half Wabakus because we thought you could just run as many cards as you want, so you just be like straight Wabakus. It was just like the most dumb idea ever. But, wow. like, we never did it, but yeah, but, was, yeah, like, that yeah, was like our thing. And everybody wanted to build Tomb Worlds. Yeah. So then like I randomly. When I was in middle school, like sixth grade or something, that's when this was all going down. Fifth and sixth grade, I think. Sixth grade. So uh -huh. we're moving, and I changed schools, and like all my friends in the neighborhood are that's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and I find this like new local shop. Like the, I didn't know that like local tournaments, I didn't know tournaments existed for this type of thing. I thought it was like like some like myth or something like that. So I find them, play, play, play for like a couple years probably, and then like the Chaos Monsters come out, and I'm like a poor little kid and I can't afford them, so I quit. That's where the story gets interesting. So I quit for 2004 till 2008, so four years. Randomly, like a senior in high school, and my friend was like, "I'm gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh online." I was just like, "That sounds kind of fun" because I was really bored. And so he showed me like YVD. I don't know if people like nowadays know what YVD is, but like, back in 2000, and around like 2005 or six to up until Dueling Network came out, that was like the main thing that you used to play Yu-Gi-Oh online. online so gaming. Yep. He showed me that. I built the deck that I had lying around from before the Chaos Monsters came out. Like it was like Don's Ludes with uh, Yada Gross's drop offs and Mr. and stuff like that. So I built that deck, got wrecked. Uh Kyojin, hi. hi. How you doing? This is my, my, my friend from Japan. He's a big Japanese vendor, he's pretty cool. Cool. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, really? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so, yeah. Scott Page. So this story, the this story is like all sidetracked, and I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But um, it's all good. We were talking about how you first got into Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh yeah. So, so we're playing YVD. We're playing YVD. Right. And he destroys me. I'm like, this is cool. So I started looking at all the top decks and everything. Like I, I Google like Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and like I didn't know what metagame was yet. But I looked at I think TCG player was the site that I saw, and I saw like all the names of like the top deck list. And I didn't know Shonen Jumps existed because mind you, the last time I played, they didn't exist. Mm -hmm. So like, I thought those tournaments, like when it said like Adam Korn, like uh, wins with like, or no, like Adam Korn second place, like Dark Arm Return. I'm just like, oh, so some guy like a local tournament or something like that. And I find out about metagame and find out that like all these names are huge and like no. all that stuff. So I like, I kind of get interested in it. Similar how I got it. Yeah. yeah. So this is like the end of Dad Return. It gets emergency banned or whatever and Lighter Destruction's coming out. I don't go to that sneak preview because I don't own cards in real life. Skip to US Nationals where GBS is like the no, now the top deck. I've been playing that on YVD, like in YVD tournaments and stuff like that, and I'm pretty bad obviously still, but like I, I can make all, I know all the plays and everything. So I go to a local shop with like 80 bucks, buy three Solemn Judgments because they were cheap at the time, uh, three Prismas because they were cheap at the time, three Test Tigers, and like everything I needed for the GBS deck minus the $250 Hair Cleanest and the $250 Crush Card. And I just kept going to locals, and like I was really lucky that at my local, uh, there was like a couple players that like knew all like the really good players in the game, mm -hmm. like the like like Adam, uh, Jerry, Shane, Scurry, all those people. Like uh, my friend Jerry Williams actually, he went to that local and is actually, he here this weekend? He is here. Okay, but just not here. Uh, why did I even say that? I'm not supposed to be exposing I, him. Okay. But uh, <laughs> great. Yeah, he's, he's, kick he's, he's chilling. Him and Shane <laughs> and, and Paul, um, all them. Swag. So, so yeah, so uh, uh, I. I, I luckily know them. I kind of like travel to like the local uh, SJCs, and the first SJC that I went to was SJC Baltimore, the first Teledad jump, and I did terribly. Like I, I knew about the I knew about Teledad, but I could, didn't have all the money for the deck, so I couldn't build it, and thus I just I lost like Junk Warrior, you know, <gasps> Junk Synchron. Yeah. So 
I go to like Charlotte with another deck that isn't Teledad, scrub that, and then like I get kind of like addicted to the idea of going to tournaments and stuff. And this has been the longest explanation ever about how somebody gets started in Yu-Gi-Oh. But that's how. Is that five minutes? I want the first question. Yeah, five minutes. Five minutes on your first question. Pro status interview. Damn. Hey, I want. You know, you're the last one. Like a couple. Well, Indy. I haven't done one since Indy. There you go. This that's is going to be a long-ass interview. Sure. So, <laughs> great. so yeah, that, that's the story of that. I, and, and then from there, just it developed. Like, I just started, like, getting my weight up, right, with, like, all the, the money and the cards and stuff. And it just, it's no, it has a snowballing effect. Eventually, yeah. If you're good with it, like, if you're good with your Yu-Gi-Oh! hustle or whatever, I guess, like, the decks and the money doesn't become, like, <laughs> like, it doesn't become an object anymore. You just, you can, you can have whatever deck you want. You, you get friends, you amass a... Uh, a network of friends and you can just play whatever you want so there you go alright that's how I started playing nice. and then fast forward years later and then I started topping my CSEs and stuff so. <laughs> Dallas first one right no uh, Indy in 2010 oh ok frog with what uh, with frog FTK word cool well I mean you kind of just ended that with my second question what are some of your accomplishments what is your favorite accomplishment? How many tops do you have? Just, just get it quick. Seven right now. Yeah, What's seven. Uh, what is your favorite top? Obviously, your second Black place wings. or Black yeah, Blackwing top? Yeah, yeah, Columbus sucked. <laughs> Columbus sucked, even though you got second place. Uh, Columbus. Yeah, no. He said Columbus sucked. No, Columbus was my least favorite. Colum you hear that, Billy? Columbus sucked. Well, he's a terrible person. No, oh I definitely was my Blackwing. Oh my no, God. I he was really proud of his Blackwing day. He kept talking to me. He's like, I used two cards yeah, for Black Brother. <laughs> that's the second time. I'm, that's like the one that, when I started to get to kind of know Billy, I think. It was when I was at Philadelphia in 2010. It was the format where Sabres was very good. Colby wasn't banned yet, but the Rescue Cat just got banned, but Sabres was still nutty without it. And Blackwings had just gotten second at the, the YCS before that when uh, Heroes won. And I liked Blackwings, and everybody was telling me not to run it. And that's when I got my own, like, that's when I started to, like, develop a, like, idea, like, if you play what you're comfortable with, don't, you can't really listen to what other people are telling you. Kind of like how Billy's playing right now, right now yeah. even though it's clearly the wrong deck, but he, he's confident in it, so he's probably just going to do well with it, just because he knows all the plays with it. So, my deck was Blackwings at the time, and I, I ended up going undefeated. I won 11 rounds in a row and then lost to the eventual champion. Um, and that was That's two favorite. times, huh? Marquise and then this guy? It's, it it might have happened a third time, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, finals. So yeah, three, yeah. I guess. Wow. I was All right, uh, what is your um, favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Monster, Spell, and Trap. My Start with your favorite monster. Card? My favorite monster? For each. Monster, Spell, Trap. Dark Magician of Chaos, by far. Okay. I love d -Mock. Snake! No, nah, he, he loves d too. <laughs> if, if I had to say, like, a, a, a monster that's not just because of its effect and, like, its art and everything, I'd have to say, like, just Gemini, just straight up favorite I think monster. Gemini Elf was, like, the very first, like, card that I was like, oh, man, I like that. That's, like, that's when Yu-Gi-Oh! was, like, very first, like, really expensive. Like, you had Gemini Elves, you were like, oh, my God, he's got Gemini Elves. And it looked so cool. And yeah. It was back when there was only two secret layers every set. And it just, like, yeah, 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 that was, that's yeah. what I missed. I like Gemini Elves. Favorite spell? Yeah, my favorite spell. Uh, broken level wise, like painful choice for sure. Just straight up bro. My like, favorite spell, like to actually play. I always like um, like premature burial for some reason. I don't know why. There's something about that card. That I just like premature. That card's pretty good. Favorite trap. Favorite trap. I have six. Yeah, yeah, stop all those cards. Those other cards. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think yeah. about yeah. this yeah. current, yeah. current yeah. format? I mean, it's a simple. Easy. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Well, scale of one to ten. <laughs> we five. Yeah, well, it's five. really hard to say. Like that's, that's what you guys get. That's a good. That's high. It's high. like as bad as our worst formats are. Like, there's always like a light at the end. I'd say three. Three. Five. There's a lot of crappy stuff. Billy, what'd you say? Five. 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 Three. Five. Three. Five. Three. Five. I don't, I don't think you can do it on one to ten. Dark Strike and Light Sworn, that's like threes and twos. No, those are threes? Those are ones. Dark, I think the, these the are just as like bad. a two or a one. Dark Strike was, 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 was pretty bad. If there were any changes, nothing came off the band. If there were like any changes, what would you bring back? One card, what would you bring back? If I could back? bring back right now. If you were the controller of the band list, you would bring back. That's what I, I'd say the same thing. Would you ban Reborn, though? We don't need Armageddon Knight Reborn I mean, going around. I don't around. think Reborn should be around, so if I had a choice to ban it, then yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So ban Reborn, bring back Demok. I mean, or, I wouldn't mind having Demok around with Reborn, as stupid as that sounds. I know it's like a crazy, busted thing. The last time we had Demok, we had Reborn, and it was it was busted. Well, yeah, yeah but we learned our lesson from last time, I hope. Like, so. I think it would be pretty hard to fit Demok in some decks right now. Like, you right, I would just throw it in. It would be very good in insectors. You can just uh, Armageddon Knight and call the Call three back. calls, yeah. Get back. Dualities. Allure, allure, allure. Oh, yeah, that'd, be, that'd be cool. We come now. Okay. Um, have you looked into Galactic Overlord yet? The next Galactic, set? Yeah, there's a lot of good cards in that set. That card card There's like a lot of things that you can tell they're trying to change the game with. Like, yeah. I think they've realized that the game is a lot... 
it's a lot faster than yeah, yeah. so they've given us like two torrentials who we might even have three torrentials next format we I'm might get like fine with that. dad might go back to two like I mean we have I'm excited more, for that yeah like stuff like that stuff like rank that fives happen. get better they shine on rank fives exactly. with, with, yeah. but I mean like we have that card card D we Go have home. like the new MSTs yeah. we even have a nice new shot. Storm. nice yeah, shot nice yeah. shot team's okay there's right. a new as heavy storm too yeah but I mean they can't chain that skill drain they can't chain that super poly they can't chain none of those cards at all I'm I mean, just saying, I don't know how good that sounds, but... Yeah, like, what if you do... I mean, if you just MST it, they couldn't chain it either. I mean, they can chain it, pay a thousand liquids, and it just gets destroyed. So. Like, I mean, or I were they activated, you just chain MST, which you can't do with Nightshot. Capoles, all, all those cards. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. Sounds cool. Um, what is your most memorable moment in Yu-Gi-Oh? Memorable moment. Memorable. Uh, memorable, memorable. Same thing. <laughs> blah, blah. Y'all didn't hear that, you too. <laughs> I don't really. Oh, probably. Um, Austin Coleman's laughing probably at Probably the very first time that I went to a locals when I came back. That was probably my because I just remember where it all started. Like I remember everybody was away. It was the day of nationals in two thousand and eight. Like I said with GBs and all that stuff, and I, I was like one of a few people at locals just getting some cards so I could finally start playing Yu Gi Oh. And everybody was away at nationals. And little did I know all about like I didn't know about Yu Gi Oh culture at this point. Like I didn't understand like everything. So I think that's where it all started. So I remember that very distinctly. Right. Will you be at any YCS <laughs> events coming up after Cali? All of them. All of, every single one of them. Okay. Man, that was quick. Who is your favorite player? My favorite player. Ever. I don't have a favorite player right now. Really? My favorite player before Ever. that? I'll just be honest. It's Adam. Adam's my favorite player. Why? Uh, he's just. Uh, I don't know. Nice. It's Adam. Yeah, it's just Adam. Like I, you can't really explain it. He's like the one exception to like all. He's just top of the list every single time. Just like undefeated every single jump. Like it's just crazy. Insane player. All right, well, cool. There you have it. It's my uh, fourth pro status interview. <laughs> it took me like six months to finally do. No, more than that, like nine months. All right, cool. Well, sounds good. Um, are you gonna reveal to the world, even though they're not gonna see this after the weekend? Are you gonna tell them what you're playing? I'm playing right now. I'm playing in sectors. Right now. Not, nothing too He's special. Sectors. Just in sectors. I'm probably gonna be. I, I have the deck built. I, I'm about to sleeve it in new sleeves. I'm about to start making a side deck. So I'm in playing in sectors. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. All right, YouTube. Come on, Nitro Tournament's out. Peace.